Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I looked up at Dean on Thursday and I was like, Dean, it's video games. So I looked up at Dean on Thursday and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about YouTube. And I had this set schedule. I was like, I'm gonna film this video and this video and I just had a routine and I had a schedule. And then, I mean, the weeks are flying by so fast. I cannot believe it. I can't believe it's Monday already. Um, I can't believe my birthday is almost here. It's like a month away. I'm getting excited. Yeah, I just, I didn't know what to film this week. And I did get some requests for quarantine outfits, so I was like, why not? I've been doing a lot of online shopping and might as well show off the cute outfits that I can't really wear out in public right now. So I wanted to take you guys through my favorite quarantine outfits that I've been loving and or just got in the mail. I wanted to show you guys that, give you a little apartment update. The apartment is almost finished and when it is, I'll give you a full apartment tour but I wanted to show you the new pieces that we got and I'm super excited about. So I got this dress a couple days ago and I have not taken it off. I've worn it a couple days in a row. I've washed it each time, but it's so comfortable. So I wore this to Hermosa the other day and then I threw it on again today. And when I got it three days ago, I wore it all day then too. So it does to say, I'm loving this dress right now and it's from Free People. It comes in two colors and the material is really great. It's stretchy, but it's also really soft. And I wanted to show you guys just some like basic, easy tops. This one is from XLE. It is actually the Kaylin shirt top. It's the name of the Kaylin. And it's just a super comfy, easy top to throw on. Also, these pants are from Urban Outfitters. And then this is just a Brahmi top from Free People. I love their Brahmis because they're cheap. They're like 20 bucks. And it's great material. And this is from XLE. Lauren Elizabeth designs the most incredible clothing that's just so soft and comfortable. It's great for the time that we're in right now. Plus, it's cute to, like, to pair with jeans or wear in normal life. I just got this in the mail today. I love it so much. It might be my new favorite go-to top. This little detail makes it so amazing. And then this is from Reformation, just an easy white tank. And I tucked it into my sports bra, but untucked is this length. So this is a nice like lounge sleep outfit. I typically hate cheetah print, but I got this and I was like, all right, let me just try it on. And I love it. I love that it's two pieces, so if I wanted, I could just wear a sports bra and the pants. What really got me, the material is so soft, and I am a sucker for soft things. Like, if it's soft, if it's comfortable, I'm in it, and I'm wearing it every day. So that is all I need, really, is just comfortable clothing. This shirt I love is from Cladding Cloth. They are incredible, and this is a new brand that they started carrying. It's unisex, so Dean and I both have one. I think Dean's wearing his right now, actually. This is also from Cloud and Cloth, and it's super soft material. Again, I can just wear this with a sports bra if I wanted, or can wear them together, can sleep in this, lounge around the house in it. It's just the perfect quarantine outfit. This is Cloud and Cloth. I love, love, love this. I've been wearing it a ton lately because it's getting really warm here in LA, and it's just nice to throw on. It's super easy. And this is the last Cloud and Cloth outfit I have, but really love this set as well. I meant to steam it, but I forgot. It's a really cute beach outfit too, I feel like, so it's just an easy summer outfit. You can wear this post-quarantine, but also comfortable enough to wear while in quarantine. And now moving on to pajamas, my favorite. I love anything that is a boyfriend blazer, boyfriend boxers, just anything that's menswear inspired. I remember when this came in the mail and I got this and I was like, I touched this set in particular and I was like, I had no idea that fabric could be this soft. I'm going to be wearing this tank out all the time because it's so comfy. I've worn these shorts a ton. Nadam is one of my favorite places to shop and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you know when you see something typed out for so long and you're just pronouncing it the way that you think it's pronounced? I think it's Nadam. Nadam? Nadam? I don't know. And the last pajama outfit I have is a comfy, comfy set from Shoprisa. And this has a drawstring bottom, so you just tie it as tight as you want. 
and it's got cute little kind of boxer details for the pants. I feel like I just look so put together and it's just like classy and nice. So I've also been stocking up on swim during this time because the weather's getting warmer, the beaches are open. This is from Onia. I believe I'm saying that one correctly. Onia, O-N-I-A, Anya, Onia, Anya. It is the cutest suit. Another one from Onia that I'm loving. I love this top. It's so cute. It's got that cute little kind of demi-cut bra look. Another new one I got is from Sai Swim. I've been really loving one pieces. I just think they're so cute and so classy. And the last swim I wanted to show you is this very pretty lavender swimsuit from Vitamin A. Just a cute two-piece. I have been wearing this a lot to tan in the backyard. Just a cute little triangle bikini. So furniture wise, I got this in from Urban Outfitters and I love this because I can just keep things organized of what's new. We also just got this couch in yesterday and I love it, it is so comfy. This is also from Urban. I love the design of it, I love that I can keep a couple purses and a hat up there. Here's the TV console, Dean's playing Call of Duty. It's a little messy, but we'll get it cleaned up. That's my sangria. No, that's mine. You jerk. Oh, this? You look cute though. Oh, thanks. Oh, this whole thing? Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> and I've been putting off a Home Depot trip for some time now, but we've got a bunch of really cool light fixtures to put around the apartment. Next project is installing these poles for the drawer, because right now they are these black ones, and we're gonna switch them out for these ones, which will be really pretty once we get them all done, but I have to, <laughs> I, Dean has to add an additional hole and screw there, so. Coming soon. Got these from H&M Home to organize my jewelry, but I don't really love it because it's not really that organized. If I move a piece, it moves all the rest, and yeah, that just stressed me out. Um, so I ordered other containers from the container store, an actual jewelry organizer, but it's been two weeks and it still hasn't come, so I might be stuck with these. I can make it work, it's just not practical. More online shopping because I have a problem. But this is new, we installed the hooks and this mirror, which I really love. If you follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen this. This is from Crate and Barrel. This is our entryway piece and I love it. it. Took me a long time to decide to order this, but I'm really glad I did. And I need to get some bar tools and replace these two things. Some kitchen chairs, which I haven't unwrapped because I'm not sure if I like them, but at this point, I don't know. I guess they work. Your kisses are so nice that you don't have stinky bread. Now that all your rotten teeth are gone. Dean and I all the time get asked what breed is Pappy and we've never known. So we did a DNA test and we got the results back. Super easy with Embark Vet. If so, we have the results and I wanted to share them with you guys. Pappy Miller Unglert, you are 34% Chihuahua and 15% Miniature Pincher. 10% Poodle, you're a Poodle. 8.8% Chow Chow. That's surprising too. 8.8% Cocker Spaniel. 6% Pomeranian. We knew you were Pomeranian. 5.9% What? Picking geese? What? Let's Google it. What do they look like? Oh. I've never seen one of these before. What? And 11.5% super mutt. You're just a little super mutt. That's what he is. I'm shocked that he's not puppy on or dachshund. What's in that super mutt? There may be small amounts of DNA from these distant ancestors, which is American Eskimo dog, German Shepherd, and Field Spaniel. So the family tree, this is so cool, goes from his parents to his grandparents to his great-grandparents and shows exactly what they were. We did this through Embark DNA and if you want to get your dog DNA tested, I highly recommend it. This is so cool. This is my first time looking at it. EmbarkVet.com. Check them out. This is awesome. Why are you being so weird? You're on camera. Everyone's going to see you like this. Whoa. Nice. Stop pouting. Come on. That's all I have for this week's video. Um, 
not much is going on so it was a little difficult to figure out what to film but hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully the apartment tour will be uploaded in two weeks is what I'm hoping for we'll see it's almost there it's really close we might have a van vlog coming to you soon and if you are one of the lucky ones that is experiencing some restrictions lifting enjoy it have fun um, be safe and I'll see you next week.